Hey guys, it's Will. I want to talk about the markets again and do what I usually do here um, with the sector ETFs and inverse ETFs, stuff like that. Um, so you try to look at the indices here. I've got a watch list in TC2000 for the markets and the VIX. Um, trying to figure out the direction. If you want to get stocks or ETFs, you know, it's good to look at the initial or the general direction of the markets, but you can also trade the um, just the indices, these ones themselves. So if we look at the NASDAQ, um, you can see we had this run up since June and then a pullback right back to the June low. We've actually just broke this June low. So that's a, a negative sign, um, but you have to decide if you want to be a breakout trader or not. So sometimes you have a breakout and then it pulls back. Um, but this is a, a sign, so you could also wait for it to pull back close to this 8 EMA and then short it again. So when you see this, these couple of bullish candles, but it doesn't get up over the 8 EMA, and the next day you start to see a gap down, that's, you know, that's another shorting opportunity. Uh, and I'll show those inverse ETFs. But um, right now, you know, it's in a downtrend crossing the low. So on the weekly, we've crossed the 200 weekly moving average. And so, and you can see we've crossed the, the weekly momentum here in the downward direction. So that's not good. Dow Jones, uh, we already broke the low in June um, and we're still going down. And, you know, obviously we're quite low on the momentum and that's where a bounce is due. So in general, um, you know, it's, it's a, the less chance of it continually going down over time. If you look at how long it's been going down here. S&P broke its low in June. So everything's really negative here. Um, but the IWM has sort of stayed at that low. But, you know, it's still, you can see the candle got pushed down at the end there, at the end of the day. Um, if you look at the VIX-XX, which is on TC2000, um, you know, you're getting up to 30s now. And uh, there's a bit of a, a trend there, but if that gets, you know, you can see that the momentum is heading up in the VIX. So, um, you know, it's, um, it's getting up there and it's making it difficult to trade even if you're in the right direction just because it's up and down and volatile right now. So from there, I, I would generally go to inverse ETFs, but there's been some gold miners, junior, silver, junior, miners, silver, um, silver, gold X, GDX. Um, wheat has been going up lately and it's just crossed over its 200 day moving average. Um, you can sort by the percent change on Friday and look at some of the, um, things that have done well. Um, TBF is another one to inverse the TLT. That's still going up. It's just getting very extended. So, but you can ride this if you want, um, you know, as long as you can. You can use the volatility stops, these green dots, as your stop or a, a previous low. Like right here, we've got a bit of a low here and there's one down here. But if we go to inverse ETFs, um, when you start to see a, a watch list that has a lot of green on the five day, 30 day, that sort of tells you, and even on the 90 day, it tells you which direction. Like if I look at the sector ETFs, you see how it's all red, 90 day, 30 day, and just a little bit um, green on the five day, the short term. But if you go to inverse, you have much more significant trends. The other thing I have here is columns where it's above the hourly, daily, or weekly, monthly volatility stops. So when you're seeing all these things are above weekly, daily, you know you're in a good uptrend. So even if you have a, a strong day, bullish day, these things tend to reverse back to their downtrend. So these ones are the inverse of the S&P. This one's, sorry, yeah, this one's the S&P, PSQ. It's right at the, the low in this case. Um, RWM is the inverse of the Russell. Some other ones that are a little more adverse are, uh, S, you know, more volatile, I guess you could say. More benefits, more potential losses is the SARK. It's the ARK inverse. Bitcoin in Canada, Biddy. 
this has been pretty strong and stable at the you know around 19,000 for Bitcoin so you'd want to see a break of this low here or even this one um, because it's been pretty stable actually considering the markets um, UUP is another one that's kind of the US dollar index we'll see what happens here if it's gonna pull back more but it kind of went up parabolically here um, you can just target finance if you want SEF um, but then if you want to get into leveraged ETFs there's a lot of the direction ETFs in the States and also Horizon in Canada I've 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 um, I've created my own watch list with just some of the leverage ETFs and there's a lot more but they're all mixed in with all the other ETFs so in TC2000 I've got a bunch of tabs and they each have different watch lists and different scans within those and it's in a, so it's a lot of stuff in a small space if you want to get a free trial if you haven't already or $25 off your subscription check out the link in the description below um, I've got the gold plan and real-time data so I can see post and pre-market data before the market opens and the US data is real time you've got J if you want to go even more with gold and stuff you can get J Nug and which is the juniors nugget is the um, the larger miners um, it's just starting to perk up here um, you know you're, you're right close to this 50-day moving average so you know or this 34 you might get some resistance there but if you see a breakout you know you might want to get in and this usually gets up to zero that's a more safe uh, you know spot to get in there um, but all sorts of web tech there's biotech labu that's actually a bull so there's lots of leveraged ones 2 3x if you're not experienced with that you probably should stick to some basic ETS instead one like one to one sort of thing until you get confident and build some gains with that you can use larger dollar amounts um, because some of these will go up and down lower but right now like even the Nasdaqs are going up two three four percent like even the indices the main ones so it's pretty volatile right now but when things slow down you know the, the safer ones are the big indices and then as you get more comfortable you can go into sectors and some of the leveraged ones because there's like <clears throat> Brazil real estate um, financial, oil and gas, small caps, there's home builders, nail. Um, you know, with interest rates going up, you wouldn't think that this would do good, but we'll see what happens. Um, like, even though I see right here green volatility stops, I'm waiting for it to get up above the 8 EMA, and also ideally you'd have a lower, a higher low, like you see here, it came up, pulled back a bit. And then it started to go up. So that's kind of a safer entry point rather than trying to get, like if you get this one here, if you're using these green volatility stops, you'll be okay if you wait and be patient. And also you should note that during the day, this red, this green volatility stop here could turn, I'll just move the lines here. It could turn red during the day and then you have to wait till the end of the day and it pulls back again. So that could get you in for this ride here. And you see when this perked up like this, and bounced off this 34 you see down here it never crossed the momentum so being a little more patient like you could wait you could start getting it when the slope starts to come up of the PPO price percent oscillator momentum but you haven't crossed over yet so it's it depends on what your comfort zone if you got in earlier here without even a green volatility stop you'd probably use this low as your stop just below there as your stop loss um, and so there's defense, you know, all these specialty ETFs that are 3x, but like I said, those are with this market volatility and the 3x or leverage, it's that'd be quite um, quite uh, risky in that sense. But um, you can see the percentages if you want to go. But once you get comfortable with trading the indices, you could move into more specific ones or use a certain portion of your trading. Um, in Canada, or generally speaking, there's a little perk up of, of real estate, um, industrial. I mean, it's just starting, so you can check that out too. So I'll talk to you in the next video. Don't forget, you can pick up TC2000 in the link in the description below. See ya.